And welcome back to the Sport Hall here in Prague, the Czech Republic, as we cover the second of three nights of the ice dancing. Still to come tonight, the men's long program. Kurt Browning is in the lead as he tries to win the world championship for a fourth time. Browning still to come right now. We congratulate the Canadian team, Shailene Bourne, 17 years of age, Victor Kratz on a strong Viennese waltz. Victor, let me start with you. It requires a lilt and a lean, tremendous softness in the knees, but at the same time, great strength. How do you train for that? I think we have acquired over a certain period of time. Uh, the basic training is like every other skater, except that before we go into the ice, we do lots of off-ice training as far as unison, bending knees, side-to-side -side leans, and that's what comes in handy when we skate the waltz. Is the knee, are the knees what take the pounding? Uh, yes, to a certain degree, but we try to make it much, much softer so there's no jolts and that's what the knees are there for. Well, it was very soft. You are 17 years of age. How did you get this chemistry? Well, ever since the first day, it really clicked. And since then, within the two years, we've, we've built this good relation, good relationship between the two of us, off days and on the ice, so it's really helped. So the off-ice relationship uh, contributes to a strong performance here? Yeah, um, I think when you have a good relationship, when you're on the ice and off the ice, it, make, it really helps. Like, we connect better, and the audience reacts Nice to it, so. Well, you've connected tonight with uh, with the judges and the audience. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz. Lots more to come as we go back upstairs to Chris Cuthbert. Chris. Thank you, Brian. Now let's move to the medal contenders. Susanna Rockamo, Petri Koko, the bronze medalists at the European Championship representing Finland. They were third in the Westminster Waltz, fourth in the Argentine Tango, so they are actually tied for third coming into this original dance. Well, Susanna and Petri really will have to make an impression here because it's very likely that the dominant team will emerge from this portion of the competition. So if they didn't enough dance on the ballroom floor, charged around the ballroom floor, I didn't get the feeling that they really waltzed out there. I felt like they were so busy trying to push, trying to cover ice, that that aspect was missing to a degree. Well, also I noticed they didn't quite capture that waltz feel. To capture that, you really need that closed waltz position throughout the dance. They really didn't, didn't use, use that position very often at all. And based on the piece we saw from Gene, they also separated a few times. We'll have their marks when we return to Prague. We're back in Prague and the first set of marks for composition for Susanna Rockamo and Petri Koko. 5-4 from the Hungarian judge, up to 5.7 from the judge from Poland. Martin Scott Nicky, their coach. Best. Best 
We'll sit down. We'll sit down. And now the presentation marks, and they're higher up to a 5-8 from the judge from the Czech Republic, the uh, first place ordinals from all nine judges so far. But it will be very interesting because the next skaters to come out are Angelica Kurlova and Vladimir Fedorov, the skaters they're battling for the bronze medal with. So it's uh, really a nice opportunity for the judges to compare them back to back. Good. Good. So they seem happy, but...